could still have children. Tissues can't get pregnant, Peter. Second criterion, no prospects. Let's see, prospects. Age, 39. Education, GED. An occupation. Mopping floors and cleaning toilets. What's the best job you've ever had, Peter? This one. you do better? I don't think so. I mean, I... Prospects, none. Criterion 3, no friends. I have a friend. Mr. McGilligan. How big you've gotten. What a beautiful fish you are. How old is he now? 33. Amazing. That's almost unheard of. You must be taking excellent care of him. I am. I have to. He's all I have left. My mother gave him to me as a Christmas present the year she died. The year... The year you wrote Santa that letter and asked him for a friend. Picked him out myself. I was afraid she was gonna go with one of the Tetras. Goldfish, I said. Now there's a good start. If he can handle a goldfish, then maybe one day he can handle people. Baby steps. How has it gone with you and other people, Peter? It's not been easy, has it? Not your fault. Not your fault. Sometimes, no matter how gifted, or how caring, some people just can't seem to connect. I connect with him. Peter, we both know he is just a fish. Criterion three, no friends. What's this? It's 
standard new elf contract, Peter. Step one, sign here. You give up everything. Everything that ties you to this life. Step two, you put yourself entirely into Santa's hands. He takes over, you get a fresh start. But now the odds are with you, not against you. Sign it, Peter. But it's my life. So, trade it, my friend, for your happiness. Otherwise, what is the point of living it? Sign it, Peter. Well done. Well done indeed. Now, step one. Stop! What are you doing? <laughs> Mr. McGilligan! Step one, Peter. He's your last tie. He has to go. But I didn't think. You can still back out. Peter, he's 33. How much longer? <laughs> I can't do it. It has to be you. Our ride's here. It's now or never. But he'll die. He'll swim. Maybe he'll survive. Through all that sewage, not a chance. You would know that better than anyone. If that's what you really want, then stay. Keep swimming. <laughs> Drop him, Peter. But he's my friend. You'll have new friends. Better friends. Real friends. Drop him. That's enough, Crackbottom! He made his choice. He dropped the fish. That is all we need. <sighs> Here, my boy. You are one of mine now. <laughs> Isn't it? <laughs> 
Take a drink. Oh, you'll be needing a lot of that from now on. And <laughs> get that poor creature back into his bowl. Honestly, Crackbottom, there are times when I wonder if I am not releasing you too soon. What? A deal's a deal, boss. I served my time. I found my oh, replacement. My I did everything. Calm down, Crackbottom. I am a man of my word. You're out. He's in. <sighs> Now bring the fish. We will settle accounts. <laughs> ah, Christopher. It has been 250 years. <laughs> I dare say I'm leaving you in better shape than when we found you. I'm glad to get out. Hmm. Wasn't easy up there. Oh, uh, not as hard as it will be for this poor fellow. <laughs> well, at least we gave the lad a chance, eh? Now it's tough love for him, cheap labor for me. <laughs> you got that right, boss. Uh, you are your own boss now, Christopher. So you think this will be enough to get you started? More than enough. You have no family. I may have lost my relatives, but all those thousands, millions, they are my family now. You have no prospects. Don't I, sir? I have my wits. I have my heart. I have my health. And once again, I have choices. I can make of them whatever I will. My prospects, I think, never seem to brighter. You have no friends. I, Father, am now a friend to myself. As long as that friendship endures, others will surely follow. <laughs> then, goodbye and good luck. <laughs> I'm back. And what about you? You wiggled loose on purpose, didn't you? You wanted to make it easy for him. Well, no matter. Merry Christmas, Mr. McGilligan. It's just you and me, buddy. 